What's going on, everyone? Xenoshotx here from NTP, and I'm back again with another uh, statue tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make Yang the final member, or the final team member of Team Ruby, and uh, Ruby's older sister. So, uh, yeah. Um, again, this is the last, sort of like the last main, main character of uh, Ruby to throw in here. Um, and after this, like I mentioned earlier, we are probably going to do Team Juniper. Um, so, if that's what you guys want, definitely let us know if you want us to make uh, those four as well. And obviously, probably later on, like in July, after Volume 2 comes out for Ruby, and we like we all watch it, um, if people want us to do, say, the other teams, because I know there's going to be other teams of people, if... Depends on how much influence, I guess, all they have, you know, all of them have, and how much character development they put into these other teams of people. Um, and we'll see what the popularity is. If you guys want us to do the other teams, then we will consider it. We'll probably make the other teams of that as well. So, uh, but uh, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial of this. Um, like I've done for the other three videos, I'm also going to have uh, the first episode of uh, the Volume 1 for Ruby here. So if you want to check that out, uh, if you've never watched it before, you want to check it out, feel free, man. It's really good, and I'm not even someone who likes that much anime, so, and I liked it, so, yeah, that's, if that's saying anything. So, let's get into the dimensions here, of course. The legs are 8 by 4 by 12. The torso is 8 by 4 by 12, and the arms, they are attached or aligned to the torso, and they are 4 by 4 by 12, and the head is 8 by 8 by width. Ooh, excuse me. No hat effect. <laughs> and those dimensions are linked by width by height and will be in the description. So, as usual, I will have some screenshots at the end after I'm done talking and everything. Um, so if there's any part that you have trouble with or just any part that you want to see in another texture pack, um, check that out. So, yeah. Or just like a better screenshot maybe, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, screenshots will be after I'm done talking. So, you need any other reference to help you out? Go to there. So. Starting off with all the detailing now, though. Front of the legs, we have the bottom of her brutes are uh, the brutes, man. The bottom of her legs or her boots are uh, brown. That's about four layers of brown, two layers of orange right above that, and then three layers of birch wind planks. And then the sides, you have uh, brown wool and spruce wind planks. Also, the very top layer there of her legs has black for her short shorts. <laughs> and then her skin is birch wind planks, of course, like I said a second ago. So, coming to the side of her legs, very simple here. These colors just wrap around the whole way. So, just wrap these colors all the way around, and then uh, should be good there. But uh, those colors, if I have to say them, brown, orange, birch wind planks, brown, spruce wind planks. Coming around here to the back, it's the exact same thing. So, this really shouldn't be hard at all. You wrap all of these colors all the way around, and then just right here underneath this brown line you're going to put some white wool so very very easy just wrapping these colors all the way around the bottom of the legs so it shouldn't be too hard no crazy detail here um, just remember throwing that uh, white wool there and then as our rule of thumb goes these side or this side of the legs is the exact same as the other side so just mirror them right across starting with the front now of her torso a lot more detail here uh, but not many colors surprisingly just a bit of a difference between all of them I'm um, starting at the bottom. Uh, her hands goes black, yellow, black. Uh, spruce or not? Well, yeah, spruce wind planks for the for the majority of her, like her jacket and everything. Um, you can see that there. You can see her shirt there with the little black symbol on it. Um, on her chest, um, that's yellow and black, of course. Her skin still birchwood planks. She has an orange scarf around her neck, so that's at the very top. Uh, apart from all the spruce wooden planks for the majority of her jacket, the detailing of it is brown, as well as the brown belt buckle on the very bottom, or near the bottom of her, uh, torso. So, pretty, pretty easy here. You only have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six colors? Six colors in total. Not too hard, not too crazy. Coming around here to the side of the arms, though, it gets a little bit different because she's actually wearing her, uh, fist weapons that she has. And uh, it's got a little bit of gold there, a little bit of a uh, gold wooden or go gold wooden. Wow, uh, I am just bleh, I'm mixing words up here. Uh, golden uh, blocks. So that's the side of them, and of course you're wrapping around all these colors as the usual. 
So, not too much. When we get to the back of her here. <sighs> Excuse me again. I am yawning like crazy right now. Getting to the back of her now. Uh, her hair comes down. That covers the majority of her back. Um, the back of her arms are actually the exact same as the front. So all that is just like stripes. Everything's just, you know, stacking colors all the way up. But at the very bottom of her torso, you can see here uh, that there is a... It's kind of like... Uh, it kind of mirrors what's on the front of her to the back. So, you know, that spruce wind planks, little line of birch wind planks where, you know, her stomach is showing, and then um, just the back of her jacket. So... And then her hair covers the, the majority of that. And then uh, this arm is the exact same as the other one. So uh, this is also a uh, legal skin, I guess I should say. Um, Blake was the only one that I did custom as far as the arms go. So if you wanted to make this skin, say, for your skin on PC Minecraft, then you know what? You could use this for that too. So, because this is a, uh, I guess, a legal skin, like I mentioned, or like I said. So you could just copy everything down in a skin editor and make this for your skin. There you go. Ideas, man. But, uh, here's the front of the face. I would prefer if you gave us some credit, though, if, uh, if you did that. I mean, I know that everyone's not gonna do like, oh, I don't even want to do that. But if you do, if you do that, you know, you make it as your skin, be like, yeah, Ninja Taco Production showed me how to make this. I don't know, I don't think anyone's gonna do that. But if you, if you did, I would appreciate it. <laughs> so, okay. Enough getting off topic. We're going off on too many tangents here. Front of her face. Totally, she has no, none of these guys have mouths, by the way, which is kind of shocking. We, you could give them all a mouth if you wanted, but I didn't. So, front of her face is, uh, birch wind planks. Her eyes, bottom of those are pink, and the top is magenta. She has eyelashes or whatever, obviously. Eyebrows, so that's black. Rest of her hair is yellow. Um, coming around here to the side. M the majority of it, pretty much her entire face is covered in hair, and I think both sides are the same. Um, dang it. No, they're not. They're just a little bit different on both sides. Yeah, but uh, that's all that's showing over here um, as far as the birch one playing. Just the entire side is yellow, yellow, and then this side just has a little bit more showing. Just like one extra block showing here of uh, birch one planks. Uh, apart from that, it's just totally yellow all the way around and then totally yellow on top of her face. See, I I'm thinking about the mouth thing now. Hang on. We could, you could do this, I suppose. You could do uh, this. You could make uh, wooden planks here. Or you could get a, uh, what am I doing? You get wooden planks put on the very bottom of their mouth, I guess, like that. For all of them. So if you really wanted to give them all mouths, um, there you go. So now all of them have a mouth. I, I mean, that looks pretty good. All of them having a mouth. I don't really like how Blake's eyes kind of match up with her mouth, though. It's a bit weird. But, uh, I mean, if you wanted to give them all mouths, you could do that. I might, I don't know, I might leave them like that. I kind of like that. I'm not sure. I mean, it looks okay. It's good that they can, like, breathe now or talk. So, I guess that's, that's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I like how Yang looks. Yang looks a lot better with a mouth, I guess, now, so. Yeah, I'll leave them like that. I will. So, there you go. Now, now they have mouths. Hooray. So, that's it for Yang and the rest of them. <laughs> if you have any requests, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this, uh, if you guys have any requests for, you know, the rest of the Ruby characters, feel free to throw them out there. Like I mentioned, we're probably gonna, we're thinking about doing a Juniper next, the other, the other team with uh, Joan and all of them on there. Um, so if you want us to do that, definitely let us know. If there's high demand for that, then we'll do it. Uh, at least, we're already thinking about doing it, so, we might just go ahead and do it anyway, because it's on our mind. But uh, if you guys want us to do it, then even more to doing it. So there you go. But uh, if uh, you have any other requests for any other shows or anything, really, throw in the comments. And, of course, uh, skin packs and mobs and YouTubers. Anything that you guys would like us to try out, definitely leave us some feedback and give us some ideas. Um, yeah. But that is it for me, guys. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you for the next one.